absolutely beautiful outside for now. We're seeing that here. A couple of clouds on the tower camera now coming in. Temperatures 82 degrees. Again, mostly sunny skies today, and we're going to continue to see that as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. Taking a look at your river forecast, I just updated it this morning. We were monitoring a couple of rivers. All of those are now in the falling stage. Tick fall at Holden, still expecting that to crest sometime today. A quick check of your satellite and radar, not seeing anything bubbling up this morning, which is an excellent sign. Temperatures for the next 24 hours, we're going to heat up pretty rapidly today. Most of us will be topping out somewhere around 90 degrees, very quickly cooling off as we head into the overnight hours. Showers not providing too much relief from the heat, and that's because we're not expecting widespread rain today. However, with these warmer temperatures and dew points in the high 70s, it's feeling sticky, so heat index values will also be something that we're tracking throughout the day today. We're not expecting heat index values to get to anything severe. However, we'll be feeling near triple digit heat at some points today. We'll check that out on our future cast. Again, by 2 o'clock, barely any clouds and rain dotting the radar. However, as we go throughout a little bit further in the afternoon hours, we begin to see some showers start bubbling up around 6 o'clock, and then more showers in your forecast. However, Monday morning, we could be seeing a couple of sprinkles on your morning commute. That large rain band could move just a little bit further to the east, providing some issues for the capital area. Regardless, we are expecting those afternoon showers to come in right on time around 5 o'clock, very quickly in and right out. Tuesday, the same pattern is set to repeat. More afternoon showers, and they're not going away anytime soon. The rainy pattern really locked in your forecast. And that's because if we check out the available moisture, so much moisture. Until we get to Thursday, if we check out the scale, the lower colors are these cool tones. We start to see that surging towards our area. This is good news. Maybe next weekend we'll see lesser rain chances as we head into the forecast. Quick check of what we're looking at in the tropics. They are getting busy, but this is nothing out the ordinary. I just want to remind you, the peak of hurricane season is September 10th. So now we're at August 28th. We're not experiencing anything different or out of the ordinary as we see the tropics starting to ramp up. So what we're looking at here, four areas that we are potentially watching. The first one going to be coming off the African coast. 20% chance of this developing. The National Hurricane Center doesn't even have a center on this position. And then in the northwestern Caribbean, these are low chances of development as it continues to move. Again, no center of development for this one either. Then the red. I'm sure this is what most of our eyes were drawn to. High chances of this actually becoming a storm, 70% over the next five days. In the short term, just 30% chance of this developing as it continues to move westward into parts of the Atlantic, approaching the Leeward Islands. And then also one more in the Central Atlantic, 10% chance of this developing. That one will definitely not be a problem for us here. Quick check of your seven day forecast. Rain today, spotty showers across the board. Not everyone will see one and they will absolutely be dodgeable. As we head into the next seven days of your forecast, a wet start to your work week, but completely manageable rain in the forecast for the next couple of days. Of course, the storm station will be on it for you and be sure you have that WBRZ weather app handy to stay ahead of the showers this week.